So the development for iOS 16 is almost complete, which means we are inching closer to the release date of the Golden Master or the release candidate. So in this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the release candidate or the Golden Master from release date to the expected features. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Golden Master or the Release Candidate is, it's basically the very last version in the development cycle that developers or public beta testers get before the official release. So it's going to be completely refined. It's going to have all the features the official release will have. So it's going to be an exact carbon copy, just not the same build number, but it's going to be the complete version and it's going to have all the features. And talking about features, let's get started. Now, there are a lot of things iOS 16 is going to have, so I'm going to try to keep it short and precise, but let's start with lock screen. So lock screen is getting the biggest change ever, and it's way better now. So it works like your watch faces on your Apple Watch. You can have as many different lock screen as you want. You can just swipe across them. And once you do that, you also have the option to customize them. Now, this is where it gets really interesting because this is the biggest change we have ever had. So you can customize the font. You can even change the font color. You can add widgets and they kind of work like complications on your Apple Watch. So you can have anything up there, your weather, your news, your batteries, your calendar, and hopefully more third-party applications will extend support in the future. As of now, it's very limited, but I can see a lot of applications making widgets just for the lock screen, and that will work really, really nicely. Now, other than that, you have these built-in wallpapers as well, and it's it's been really, the whole redesign works really nicely, and this is something that was long time coming, and really makes your phone way better than before. Now, other than that, you also have a music widget thing, which basically expands your artwork on the music when you tap on it. Then you also have widgets for Uber and stuff, which is not ready yet, hopefully with iOS 16.1, but that also is really amazing. Now, apart from that, there's also some changes with the messages and iMessage, so you can delete and edit messages, which is something we all needed. Other than that, we have a new feature where basically, if you hold long enough on a picture that has an object or a person in it, it'll erase the background for you right in the Photos application. And this is something I've been using since the release and it's one of the best features, in my opinion, with iOS 16. Other than that, we also have live text visual lookup. So basically you can use a camera in live text to look stuff up. You can also use video in live text and now it also works with the translate application. So you can use live text to translate in real time. And that also is a very helpful feature. Other than that, one feature that is pretty amazing in my opinion is pass keys, which is going to change the whole password situation everywhere. So now instead of making passwords or saving on having them, you can just use your face ID or touch ID as your password on most platforms and browsers on your iPhone. And that is something that is really amazing. It saves you a lot of hassle of remembering and storing your passwords and just makes the whole process a whole lot easier. Other than that, Apple Pay has also extended support to third party browsers, which was not there before and focus cannot be tied up to your lock screen. So that also is a new addition for your lock screen. Now I do realize that iOS 16 is not as feature packed as one might expect it to be, but all the features at this stage are refined enough to not cause any hiccups or any crashes, which is a very good news. Now talking about performance and battery life, now these are some things that were not good enough in the initial developer versions or the public versions, but it's gotten better overall, especially the performance. It's, it's way better than the first few betas and it's going to be very good in the Golden Master or the release candidate. But battery life is still a hit and miss for me. So this is an iPhone 12, right? I had 91% battery health before I installed iOS 16 and through the developer versions, it's dropped down to 88%. So hopefully with the official release for iOS 16, this is something that they will focus on and get fixed. Now talking about the release date for the Golden Master or the release candidate, the date is 7th of September because the event is on the 7th and every single year over the last couple of years, we've always had the release candidate or the Golden Master right after the event and that's when it's gonna be this year as well. Now as for the official public release for everyone, That'll be within a week after the Golden Master, so the best bet is the 12th or the 13th of September, right before the shipments for iPhone 14 starts. Now, what devices will iOS 16 support? Anything above iPhone 8 will get iOS 16, but if you have anything earlier than that, it won't. So that's pretty much it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Until then, please like, comment, and subscribe.
Peace.